gorgeous. This is my first time here, and I have to tell you, Jen, it is great, and they're keeping very good measures when it comes to social distance mm -hmm. guidelines. We are so excited that the doors are open, and we're not the only ones that are excited and that are here. Behind us is the casino, and that's where we find Julia Bag. And Julia, correct me if I am wrong, but I believe there are people there trying to make some money, <laughs> honey. <laughs> That is absolutely right. The casino floor and the lights here are flashing and they are taking precautions. You see me wearing a mask, you guys wearing masks. They'll even give you a mask if you need one. And to talk more about the precautions and the changes you can expect here on the casino floor, we've got the CEO of Seminole Gaming, Jim Allen, joining us this midday. So tell us, sir, what has it been like just to get back to this point to be able to open today? Well, most importantly, we're real excited about bringing over 4,000 people back to work. You know, it's been a very difficult time for our employees, so we're very proud to be able to offer them that opportunity. As far as, you know, the uh, playing the social distancing, and we want to make sure that people are safe. We want to make sure that we've created an environment that they naturally comply with respect for each other, for the, our guests and our employees. And obviously, we're seeing some changes here. One of those things, the plexiglass in between the dealer and the players here. And then you also have open chairs to make sure that you maintain that distance between the players. Yeah, you know, we wanted to make sure the dealers were safe and obviously our guests, so all these are custom made um, for each individual table so that we create that environment. You know, as you look at our slot machines, you'll see one game on and a minimum of two off. And frankly, it, and I'm looking behind me here, you know, we're looking at probably 15, 20 feet in one particular example of social distancing between the games that are on. And we'll slowly see how the guests, you know, feel comfortable with that. Certainly as we go into the weekend. Yes, we anticipate that will be quite a bit of volume this weekend. We opened uh, the Hard Rock in Tampa three weeks ago and we've seen you know very strong volumes. And most importantly people are complying. You know they're very respectful. I think they're cognizant of how important it is to be safe you know with this pandemic. Jim Allen, CEO of Seminole Gaming, thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, so you've seen uh, what it's like, Jen and Joanna. It starts officially at noon. That's when they start letting everybody in.